Hey there, how are you doing? I'm recording these last two videos back to back, so I'm still like in the very same position. I haven't even moved, uh, but I wanted to talk about regarding privacy. So telemetry is one of uh, very popular topics on the in the Linux community and generally in free software community because most of us are fairly privacy conscious, if that's a good way to put it, you know. Um, Maybe we are not perfect, none of us is, but whenever we can, we try to say like, do not send my data here, do not send my data there. And if we discover that some software is doing something behind our backs, then we are a little bit angry. We might stop using the software. And if we really need that software, we will probably find ways to install some kind of firewall rules that will block this kind of traffic and basically secure some of our freedom not to uh, send our private information anywhere on the internet, which is telemetry, basically, you know. Uh, so one of the things that happened recently is that Manjaro, uh, Linux working on Manjaro data donor as a new data collection tool. So what happened here is basically that they are now promising to uh, install a data collecting tool similar to, you know, what Steam does and maybe Ubuntu, but in a slightly different way. So I'm going to read it to you. With this system D service later in place, sending the hardware data with MDD will be opt out because I believe if you do opt in, the data you gather will be so heavily skewed that you can just leave it be. Let me know what you think. I know telemetry is a contentious topic, but we need at least some data about how Manjaro is being used so many people around the world in order to show that the project has a future and also to plan for that future. So this whole thing, especially the second part, is very uh, natural, if I can put it this way. I would personally want to know who is using my product and how much. However, uh, the way you do this uh, is a little bit, you know, um, a double-edged sword, right? So uh, this person here uh, is aware that if we opt in, there may be uh, we may be sending them data that is a little bit, uh, how they said, skewed, right? Uh, so maybe a similar type of people will opt in and another type of people will not uh, opt in. So the data will be uh, very specific for this uh, group of people. And I understand this. But if they make it opt out, then they're going to angry a lot of people and some of them will leave Manjaro. Personally, I have never been using Manjaro. I have tried it. I have tested it. I know a few minutes later. OK, I have just cut out a couple of minutes me talking into the wall, like completely off topic, and I catch myself doing that very often. Uh, so what I would propose to Manjaro is Maybe don't, they should not make it opt in or make it opt out because I think I may be having a third solution, which is, uh, I think Steam does it this way, uh, is basically uh, the cron job or systemd or whatever the, the service will be preparing the data for sending. Uh, it should prepare it and then it should pop up in front of your face and say the data is prepared. Here is what we are going to send to Majaro. Please look at it, what we are going to send and approve it here or cancel it here or maybe even click here to never see this window again in your entire life uh, during this uh, install. And I think this would be like a fair balance between uh, opt-in and opt-out. Tell me what you think and I'm going to see you in the next video.